Hi all and uh, welcome back to a small help video. Today we are going to talk about the Chrome browser or browsers in general and how you can fix if they are not working or not showing what you expect the browser to show you. We use browsers every day for browsing the internet for news, sports updates or whatever you are into. So it is very important that your browser is working. And this is some of the tips and tricks that I have for you. First of all, let's open up my Chrome browser and oops, no internet. Well, that says more or less it all, but this is not the most common issue, but also a thing that we will look into. So I will like to search for something news on the internet and this is working as I expected. But if you get an error with the connection or nothing is showing up or you just saw that error message, no internet connection, the first thing I would do is to start closing down some of all the tabs. I have seen some users having 20, 30 browser uh, tabs open at the same time. That can definitely slow down your experience for your Chrome browser. So make sure to close all what the other tabs down in your browser. So you only have one open and the one you uh, want to work on or use for, for this search or browsing. So first tip is close up down all tabs in your browser. Next thing up is to have a look at maybe you have been using your iPad for quite a while now and you have been opening up apps and using those. So a trip is, trick is to see how much have you open in the background in your iPad. So here you can see I have quite a few uh, apps open and I will close some of those down just to make sure that my memory is free uh, to use and I will be able to go into my Chrome browser, open up a new one and search for maybe sports. And here we go. I will be able to go in and I will go into Sky Sports and see what is going on in the World Cup, for example. So make sure to close down all the apps in the background. Make sure those are not running uh, and is using a lot of memory on your iPad. Next thing up is if you are, for example, updating a lot of apps while you want to browse in your browser, maybe you have not updated your apps for a while and you have around 50 uh, apps that needs to be downloaded, it will take a lot of uh, memory, but also a lot of bandwidth on your Wi-Fi. So that can actually slow down your browsing experience in, in the Chrome browser. So make sure to pause all downloads or updates of apps, maybe even the iOS, if you are looking at updating your iOS to the newest version, make sure to pause that while you are browsing at least if you are experiencing problems with uh, your browsing. So downloads and apps updates, please close that down. Of course, another thing, if your browser is not working as expected, you can of course also close down your browser just by swiping up and go back in here, open up your browser, and maybe that could actually just be the one that fix your browser. We've seen it for time to time that browsers sometimes get a bit messy and maybe it's not running as expected in the memory. So just simply closing the Chrome browser app down also can help you solve your browser problem. If you're still having issue browsing whatever page, then another good thing is to have a look at another browser. So if you have an iPad, you always have the Safari browser installed on your iPad. So try to find your Safari browser, go in and search for the exact same thing. So let's search for sports and let's see if that browser is actually able to help you with that. 
and if it's able to open up the specific page you are looking for. So use your Safari browser as a backup fail browser for, for the Chrome uh, browser if the Chrome browser is not working. Safari is also a great browser to use for websites. Another thing is, of course, and it is one of the things I always mention in my uh, help videos, is to do a restart of your iPad. That can free up the memory, so I will just go here. And that didn't help. Here you go. So go in, find the way to restart your iPad. Just simply slide to turn off your iPad and I will do that. And after a few seconds, I will be able to turn on my iPad and it will show you the Apple logo in just a few seconds and it will turn on my iPad. So cleaning up your iPad's memory by just simply restarting your iPad is always a recommendation from my side. I at least do that once a week just to make sure I have a fresh and working browser. And here you go. Fresh and clean iPad with a lot of memory go into my Chrome browser and it is working as expected. Next thing up is to of course have a look at your app. Go into the app store and find your Chrome browser, just simply search for it and press enter. And in here you can find the Chrome browser. And as you can see here, there is an update for my Chrome browser. It is always a good recommendation to be up to date on your software. So just simply press the update and you will get the latest version of the Chrome browser installed on your iPad. Uh, Google, who is behind the Chrome browser, is uh, of course always fixing bugs in their browser. So maybe the reason why you are not able to make your Chrome browser work could be that there was a bug in the software and that has been fixed by Google. So just simply open up your app again and see if you are able to browse the website you were looking for. So make sure to have your app up to date. If that still not uh, helps you and doesn't solve you, the next thing you could do is to simply press this and here you can uh, remove the app from the, uh, the the, the iPad, just simply uh, press the delete app and that will of course delete the app from your iPad and do a reinstallation of that and see if that works. I've seen that working a lot of times that if you are having an app in general that is not working by deleting and installing it again, that can sometimes do the job of an app not working as expected. So have a look at that. It doesn't take that long time to delete uh, the app. And in this case, the uh, Google browser, Chrome browser, and just reinstalling it again. Another thing is of course, to have at your, a look at your Wi-Fi settings. So go into settings, going to your Wi-Fi area, if I'm able to press that one and just simply see if you are connected to the network you expected to and that network is actually working as expected. You can of course do a close or shut down and reconnect your, to the Wi-Fi you are working with and see if that helps. That often uh, do the trick. A lot of times when a Chrome browser is not working and you don't get the website you are expecting. Uh, it is often a Wi-Fi issue. You could either be that you are not connected to the network or you have a VPN that it doesn't allow you to go in and uh, have a look at that. So have a look at your Wi-Fi settings. Another thing that is always a recommendation 
if you are looking at Wi-Fi issue is to have a look at your router. Please do restart your router, your access point once in a while. Those access points and routers can actually also be misbehaving and do not accept new incoming connections or whatever. So have a look at your router, restart it once in a while. If you're having an issue like this at the moment, have a look at your router and do a restart of that and reconnect to that router again. Just a simple, uh, an easy task to do and that often solve the problem. That was all I had for you today. This was my tips and tricks for the Chrome browser. I hope you liked my video. If you do, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more help videos coming up. And if you have any questions or comments, put it in the comments section. Thank you so much and have a great day.